Hi, everybody, and thank you for joining us. I'm Julie Gonzar, a meteorologist at Dayweather Incorporated here in and the uh, weather information manager for YDOT. Today we're going to go over kind of an overall summary of uh, weather and climate in the state of Wyoming. As maintenance and uh, winter operations for the state, it's important to be able to understand where is the weather coming from? What part of the atmosphere is, the, is this weather coming from? What are the temperatures going to be? Is there moisture involved? And sort of the large scale pattern. This will help you be more proactive in your operations when it comes to uh, uh, winter and snow cleanup. Also, it's going to be important to kind of learn where are the hot spots in the state? Where do we generally see areas of fog and freezing fog and also areas that get intense snow accumulation and even strong winds? So the first thing to really look at when we're talking about uh, weather and climate is looking at the overall picture and the large scale. This is a map of the entire world uh, laid out and taking a look at where the winds come from. So predominant winds for our part of the uh, country is out of the northwest and the southwest. That's the most important piece to take out of this map. Um, throughout the year, of course, our wind directions will definitely vary and that really depends on the terrain and certain um, fronts that will come through. So we're going to start now and just go through each of the different seasons in Wyoming. What we generally see for most of the time and what to expect. In the winter time, since our winds predominantly come out of the uh, west and northwest, we see uh, most of our snow across the western slopes of the mountains. And in the entire state of Wyoming, we have some basins. And basins are lower elevation areas. They generally see less snow and less precipitation overall. Eastern slopes often see less snow also. Now, the High Plains area across the eastern part of the state, they generally get a lot more wind and a little bit less snow. But again, it will depend just a little bit. In the springtime, it's the southeast part of the state that gets a majority of the snow. Also in the wintertime, strong gusty winds across a majority of the state. It's going to be very common to see gusting winds between 45 and 60 miles per hour, especially with cold fronts and winter storms. So if you take a look at the graphic, you'll see the state of Wyoming, and this is an average snowfall amount for the year um, for Wyoming. And you can see the blue areas are areas that we get a majority of the snow, and the yellow and orange areas are drier parts of the state. So consistent with our winds coming out of the west and northwest, we see a little bit more snow, of course, on the western slopes of the mountains, and the mountains in general, just because of the high altitude. We also see a lot of snow in the southern range mountains um, and around the Casper Mountain area. The basins and lower terrain areas consistently get less snow and precipitation. Springtime is a very delicate time of the year for one reason in particular are that storms in the springtime are very, very difficult to forecast and our temperature variables um, can change quite quickly too. So a lot of times storms in spring can either be all snow, all rain, or a mixture of both. We also start to see a little bit of our severe thunderstorm activity, large hail, tornadoes, and damaging wind coming in the springtime. And another concern for maintenance operations in the spring due to all that melting snow are landslides and mudslides and flooding. Summertime in Wyoming, very nice, very warm, and generally we start to see the monsoon patterns starting up right around July and August, sometimes even pushing into early September. Now the monsoon is where we see a lot of moisture coming in out of the southwest and generally affects Arizona and Colorado and Wyoming. Now the difference between spring and summertime are that the thunderstorms and rain showers tend to be a little bit more severe and dramatic in the spring. Summertime, our thunderstorms are more frequent but not as strong. So we still do get a little bit of hail, but we don't always see the damaging hail and the effects of tornadoes and severe thunderstorms is certainly less. 
And we've come to fall. Temperatures turning colder, low pressures coming through a little bit more frequently, and also our cold fronts get a lot stronger, especially in the October and November time frame. We start to see a little bit more moisture moving in and colder air coming out of the northern part of the country. So a couple of things to pay attention to for fall time. We start to see a little bit more fog developing as cold air moves over a warm ground, and fog can lead to low visibility and also potential freezing on the roadways. If fog is dense enough, it can dampen that road, and if temperatures are cold enough, the road can freeze. So visibility is also an issue with fog and sometimes in fall we usually get our first snow right around the early part of September and generally that will catch people off guard so of course they're not going to drive as safely as they may in the winter time when they're expecting it. An important thing to pay attention to in the fall time as temperatures start to cool pretty rapidly is precipitation and during the nighttime hours a lot of times in October, temperatures can be cold enough where rain will turn to snow and freeze on the roadways, or we might even get a little bit of freezing rain possibilities in the overnight hours when temperatures are their coldest. For purposes of maintenance and operations, high impact events can happen throughout the entire year. In the winter time, we're worried about strong wind, snow, ice, even sleet, and very slick roads, even low visibility with blowing snow. In the springtime, large hail, strong thunderstorms, and damaging wind and, and some flooding is also a big concern. Summertime, not a whole lot going on, but flooding can still occur, small hail, and even smoke from wildfires can reduce the visibility on the roadways and the highways. Fall time, rain changing to snow, freezing roads quickly when people may be a little bit unprepared. Fog is also a concern in the fall time. As a recap, we just went over some of the high impact uh, possibilities throughout the year in the state of Wyoming, like snow and ice and fog and low visibility. Understanding these weather features and how they develop and come about will help you in your winter maintenance operations. Safety comes first, and part of that is understanding your forecast and understanding the overall weather pattern and what's expected during each particular time of the year in Wyoming. That will help you stay safe on the roads and help the traveling public stay safe as well.